What are some red flags for teachers that scream drop this class immediately? No one will get an A in this course because, insert some philosophical highbrow bullshit answer. Tenured organic chem professor, any questions? 50 hands go up. Professor, it's a fairly simple concept, so you LO get there. Let's move on. Had a drawing professor that put a stack of pre-signed withdrawal forms on his desk. Told us to grab one when we were ready. This is drawing class not withdrawing class. These books are required for the class. I wasn't able to get the revision into the bookstore in time, so the only place you can get them is from me directly or from my website. I will warn you, if you don't buy the books you won't get the login information to be able to take the final, which is 90% of your grade. Oh, now, I can't accept financial aid for them, but it's only $250 so it's not a big deal. Never seen an entire class get up 5 minutes in and leave before. Well nice. This is the reaction so many of these professors here need. Good day to you sir. But. I said good day. Too many people got A's last semester, so I'm changing my syllabus for you all. Cut to the next semester. Too many people dropped at the beginning of last semester, so I'm changing my syllabus for you all. I am altering the syllabus. Pray I don't alter it any further. This college is getting worse all the time. Think that their students should only focus on this particular class for the upcoming semester as if they should spend all their time on it. Had a professor ask, show of hands, how many of you are taking other classes? And when people raised their hands said, that was a mistake. Then said, how many of you have jobs? That was a mistake. I think enrolling in that class was a mistake. Thinking this class was a mistake? That was a mistake. When they really put down good students for small mistakes. I had an algebra professor in college who once marked almost an entire test I took wrong because I abbreviated units of measurement such as cm, foot, etc. instead of spelling out centimeters, feet, etc. All of my answers were correct, but he gave me like a 33% on my test for that. I had to complain to the math department dean and he had to change my grade. The required textbook is a saran wrapped package of loose leaf papers that cost $100, authored by the professor. This is my first time teaching, so you'll be my guinea pigs. Her test averages were low 50s with no scaling, it was great. My name is Konstantin Makarov, I was nuclear physicist in Russia. This course will not be easy, not all will survive, but we can get through together. First words uttered by my differential equations professor. Sounds awesome. And hilarious. When they read the PowerPoints word for word. I dot can dot do dot that dot at dot home. Teach PLS. Back when I started college, I got straight A plus S in a class, but when I went to check on my overall grade, I had a B plus, found it odd and went to question my teacher about it. He said that he dropped down my grade because the class was a bit of a pain in the ass, he didn't use those exact words, but that's what he meant. Then I questioned him again about my posture, asking if I did anything wrong, or disturbed class or whatever, he promptly said I didn't and that I was a great student, which made me ask again why his grade lower than, he told the same excuse from above, then I asked if he was planning on changing my grade at all, since I had only as, and he promptly said he wasn't going to change. Fast forward a few days, I ended up filing a complaint about him and his method of grading students, and the college made him change my grade. After that he approached me and said something like hey up poor sis you didn't have to file a complaint about me, I was gonna fix you grade yada yada. That's really stupid. Of course he'd say that after you complained. Exactly, that's what pissed me off the most. He spent the next few months being somewhat nice after that. Get out the science textbooks and work on chapter 5, activity 1. Proceeds to sit down at their desk to do random shit on their computer saw a course at my college called Digital Media and American Culture. Sounds neat, I thought, I'll go to a lecture during the shopping period. The professor is 10 minutes late, an 80-year-old man, who gets up and literally asks a student in the front to tell him how many Facebook friends she has and then how many real friends do you have. Was flabbergasted when he asked if anyone in the classroom had read 1984 and most of the class raised their hands. He was 100% convinced that millennials never pick up books anymore. Yeah, no. Christ. Was the class held on his lawn, 
and was he late because he had to yell at a cloud? I had a professor that in hindsight I really should have dropped. It was a Western civilization history class, and the first day the entirety of the class he spent talking about how he missed his old job teaching in Europe because American students are more lazy and incapable of getting as high of grades. Then he showed intro YouTube videos from his personal laptop hooked to a projector and all of the recommend videos all had titles like Grinding with Thong, Sexy College Babe Grinding, etc. I thought he was just eccentric, but the guy was easily the worst teacher I ever had. He would expect you to totally memorize all the chapter he would quiz on material that didn't matter for concepts. E. What was the name of Caesar's second cousin? When the information would be found in a huge family tree. The only students in the class with A's were women, and he would grade their quizzes differently and be much more lenient. The students compared quiz results, someone in class called him out and he said that he was tired of teaching Americans and doesn't get paid enough. Literally. Had a professor like this. He was eventually fired for sexual misconduct, presumably with a student. Total dick. Nothing of value was lost. Gives a test on the first day that will be counted against you. Had one of my mathematics teachers do this. Pride in the difficulty of their course. If everyone fails, it's not for an inability to learn, but for an inability to teach. I had a French professor like this. She gave us so much homework that I had a couple of hours a night of French homework and three other classes that were more important to my major. She handed back the homework the first week and dropped the bombshell on us that she was marking us down for any mistakes that she saw we had already erased and corrected ourselves on. Even if the final answer was the correct one, she marked it as if we'd turned in the wrong answer if she could see eraser marks. This wasn't some advanced class, this was goddamn French I. I wasn't in the first wave to drop. Finally it was between barely scraping by this class and passing my biochem class so I dropped but too late to get a refund. She bragged every time someone dropped and ridiculed students who answered incorrectly. It was a really toxic learning environment. I took an economics course and bombed the first test. I went to the professor and told her I really want to do well in your class, what are some suggestions you might have on how I can be successful? She looked at the grade on the test and said you should drop the class and change your major. I may be shit at economics but I can follow instructions. Something similar happened to me too. I bombed my first calc test and when I went to the TA asking what I could do to at least pass, he told me nothing. Just drop. You'll never pass with a score like that. I was even like, can I come to your office hours? And he said no just drop and walked away low. I didn't cause him stubborn and got help from my engineering buddies and ended up with a B thanks to curve. I've had teachers that I just simply couldn't understand due to a language barrier and in hindsight I should have dropped immediately. I learned that basically if you can't understand what the teacher is saying, be prepared to teach yourself a lot of the class. I had an accounting teacher one time who was Chinese and I remember sitting in that class on the first day scratching my head because I had no idea what she was saying. I looked around and a lot of the other people had the same look on their faces. The next week I showed up to class and what was once a classroom of about 40 people was now about 12. I should have known right there to drop, but I didn't. I stuck it out and a few weeks go by and it didn't get any better. I got my first test back and completely bombed it. I told myself right then that I was going to have to teach myself the material and that coming to class was pointless. So I taught myself accounting by using the textbook. Since I didn't go to class I missed all of her pop quizzes but just told myself I'll make it up on the tests. I only showed up for tests and the final and lo and behold, I passed the class. This is a serious and common problem. For a previous job I interviewed more than 100 US college students about their academic experience. One of my questions was what they found difficult about learning in college. At least half of them said they had a professor, usually math or statistics or economics, who was. Hard to understand. They were always a little hesitant about this. I eventually realized that they didn't want to risk sounding racist. Which I guess is good, that they're trying hard to be open-minded but they have a lecturer they can't understand and they're afraid to say so because it will sound racist. Not cool. Way too many universities use way too many professors and graduate students who don't speak English at all well, and are cheap or free, and the students suffer. And students don't want to complain for fear of being anti-foreigner racist. I typically enjoyed going to class and sitting through lectures, it was a good learning environment for me. For my statistics class, Though, the teacher had a thick enough accent that I couldn't understand her unless I really focused on interpreting her individual words. When I focused on the individual words, though, I couldn't pay attention to the overall content of what she was talking about. 
I ended up just ignoring her entirely and using class time to do the class homework by myself. If there was anything I was really stuck on, I went to her office hours. She'd get upset with me that a lot of my questions were over topics she thoroughly explained in class, but I just kind of shrug and say that I didn't get it. I couldn't think of any possible good ending to explaining that I never understood what the hell she was saying during lectures and that I thus spent all of class ignoring her entirely, so what else was I to do? Edit, while I appreciate the advice people are giving me, this was years ago, I graduated and haven't been back for some time. Feel free to post advice for others who might be in a similar situation, though.